With good news for today from Baptist Press, I'm Brandon Porter. A new ministry center will open in Laredo, Texas as part of a partnership between Texas Baptist River Ministry and Send Relief. The center will serve Laredo and the wider Rio Grande Valley area by connecting churches to ministry opportunities on the U.S.-Mexico border. Send Relief, a collaborative compassion ministry of the North American Mission Board and International Mission Board, has opened 19 other ministry centers across North America and Puerto Rico, each designed to meet the specific needs in their local area while training churches to replicate the ministry in their own communities. This will be Send Relief's first center to open in Texas. The Texas Baptist River Ministry has been working in the Rio Grande Valley for 55 years, connecting churches in Texas to projects along the Texas-Mexico border and supporting 15 missionaries who work in cities on both sides of the border. Laredo is home to one of the oldest border crossings in America's history and serves as the U.S.'s largest land-based entry point. In addition to its 260,000 residents, the city sees millions of vehicles crossing the Texas-Mexico border each year. Because of this, Laredo is a unique melting pot of a city that blends the cultures of the U.S. and Mexico. Shane Pruitt, the National Next Gen Director for the North American Mission Board, says churches now more than ever have the opportunity to step into the brokenness of Generation Z with the hope of the gospel. In a video interview with Baptist Press, Pruitt said the COVID-19 pandemic didn't create new problems for Gen Z, but instead poured gasoline onto problems that were already there. You can find the full interview at our website, baptistpress.com. Good News for Today is made possible through our friends at The Voice of the Martyrs, a nonprofit organization that serves persecuted Christians around the world. Founded in 1967 by Richard and Sabina Wormbrand, VOM is dedicated to inspiring believers to deepen their commitment to Christ and to fulfill His Great Commission, no matter the cost. Find out more and sign up for their free monthly magazine at vom.org slash goodnews. Over a hundred years ago, Southern Baptist P.E. Burroughs wrote on the importance of vestibules, the small gathering areas common in many churches to be built throughout that century. Today, many church buildings include large lobbies and even cafes. Construction experts say it reflects what church members need, connection. While churches are investing in technology in their worship space following COVID, they are longing for community and relationship. In a story on Baptist Press, Scott Barkley looks at how church buildings reflect the needs of the local church ministry and how that's evolved over the last 100 years. Find it at our website, baptistpress.com.